into the questions of love. I am your host, Prophetess Betty Jones. Now I want you to do three things for me. I want you to grab your pen and paper because you're going to hear some very important information that you need to jot down. And call a friend and let them know that the questions of love is on air right now. Let us go before the Lord with the word of prayer. Heavenly Father, I thank you once again for another opportunity to go into these homes. I pray that you touch each and every one that's listening and watching on today and anoint their ears to hear your word clearly. I pray none of me and all of you, and I ask you to speak through me on today. And we give you all the honor, praise, and glory in Jesus' mighty name. And all agree with that prayer, just say amen. God is so good. Now, today we, we're going to talk about the Holy Spirit and, and we're going to talk about this abundant living that uh, Jesus promised us. He said, I come that you may have life and life more abundantly. Well, child of God, I believe that God wants us to have a closer relationship with him. I believe that God wants us to be intimate with him. Now, uh, go with me to John 14, verse 16. He talks about uh, leaving a comforter, which is the, the Holy Ghost. Let's see, John 14, verse 16. And he say, And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever. So here Jesus talking, he talks about leaving that comforter, which is the Holy Ghost. And you must have like a, a very intimate relationship so that you can be tuned into the Holy Spirit. Now looking at verse 26, it said, but the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. Child of God, we have our helper, which is the Holy Spirit. We have our helper. And a lot of us are not using the Holy Spirit as a helper and a, as a guide. You see, the Bible talks about the Holy Ghost leading you. And a lot of us are not being led by the Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit. Uh, some people think that the Holy Spirit is a, a force, but the Holy, Spirit, the Holy Spirit is a distinct person. Uh, the Word of God say, talks about the Holy Ghost teaching you all things. And a force cannot teach you. And, and, and the, whole, the, the word talks about the Holy Ghost being dwelling in you and, and guiding you, leading and guiding you. A force cannot lead and guide you and teach you all things. So the Holy, Holy Ghost is truly a distinct person. The third part head of the uh, third part of the Trinity is Holy Ghost is a distinct person. Now, when you get more familiar with the Word of God and, and how to utilize everything that God has given us to, to use uh, to perfect our Christian walk, then you will begin to walk in that abundant living. Child of God, I, I ask the Holy Spirit all the time when I lose things, uh, especially my contact. If I drop my contact, I begin to pray in my heavenly language and Ask the Holy Spirit to guide me because I say, you know all things. I say, Heavenly Father, you know all things. And, and I ask for my help, my helper to come and, and help me to find those things that I lose. And as, as immediately after I pray, I say, God, you know all things. Immediately after I pray, Holy Spirit show, takes me right to my contact, exactly where I dropped it. So for those of you that wear contacts, you know that once you drop them, it, they are very, very hard to find. But I challenge you, if you are a believer and you understand speaking in your heavenly language, you begin to speak in your heavenly language and the Holy Spirit will guide you right to where you lost uh, your contact 
Or if you lose your car keys, you begin to pray in your heavenly language and God will guide you and take you right to those car keys. You know, my daughter had lost her car keys. They came right in the house and they were looking, they put the keys down and they were looking for those keys at least one hour. And then I began to help them search for the keys and we, we looked on the ground to see if she dropped them uh, anywhere. We walked outside, we looked in the vehicle, see if they were on the floor, in the bag, and everywhere. But once I began to pray in my heavenly language and ask the Holy Spirit for his help, praise the Lord, we found the car keys. So, child of God, I challenge you to, to get... Uh, Tune into this abundant living. You see, you know, once we accepted Jesus Christ to come into our heart, we had God super on our natural. So we became supernatural beings. So if you're not uh, experiencing this abundant living, if you're not partaking of your, your spiritual benefits, then I challenge you on today to utilize the Holy Spirit because he is to teach you all things and he's your comforter, he's your helper. So begin to utilize the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, now we've been talking about health and healing. But before I, b before I start on the health and healing, I want to say to those that have not accepted Jesus Christ in your heart, I'm going to give you that opportunity to receive the gift of salvation. Now, if you you don't know this Jesus that I'm talking about, and you haven't accepted the gift of salvation, it's a free gift, I want you to give me a call. I want to pray the prayer of salvation over you uh, so you can be a part of uh, this kingdom that I'm talking about and you can partake of this abundant living and you can get tuned into the Holy Spirit as well learn more about the Holy Spirit if you have not accepted Jesus Christ to come into your heart or you haven't received the gift of salvation and you want to experience this abundant living that I'm going to share with you on today I want you to give me a call right now I want to pray with you 770-875-4493 Okay, I'm going to pray with you and our prayer lines be open. So give me a call, 770-875-4497. Say, Prophetess Jones, I want to receive the gift of salvation. I want to join hands with God on today and start living this abundant living. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Because God is so good, child of God. And I'm learning, you know, the Word of God tells us that if we lack wisdom to ask it of Him and He'll give it to us liberally, upbraid it not. So I'm learning that in all the knowledge that you can get and obtain from man, you still don't know anything because God said His ways are higher than our ways and His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. And man's wisdom cannot compare to God's wisdom. If you think that this technology is growing fast, I, I heard somebody say as soon as they learn how to operate one gadget, it's another gadget, uh, gadget invented. So just as quick as the technology is going year after year, you're getting new things, new computers, uh, new uh, cell phones changing. That's the way God's mind works. You can't obtain his knowledge. You, if you think technology is fast, get a hold to God, godly wisdom. It's even faster. So I challenge you on today to, to learn more about the Holy Spirit and, and allow the Holy Spirit to lead and guide you into all truth and everything that you do. Let God be a part of your life. Don't just have God on Sunday, but have God when you wake up every morning. Thank the Lord that this is the day that he has made and you will rejoice and be glad in it. Begin to thank God and, and allow God to just stay with you throughout your day. 
you know, never leaving you. So it says the Holy Spirit will dwell with you and, and, and walk in you, you know, and just be there at all times, not just on Sunday, but Monday through Sunday. And 